What is up guys, it is Power Bang. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. This one is by popular request, guys. This came from you, wanting to see dragon strategies from me. We're gonna start at the top level today. The Town Hall 11's coming down to hit the 10's. This is something that every clan has to go up against, and it's very, very important that you execute these attacks flawlessly and as high of a hit percentage as possible, otherwise you're gonna lose your wars. That being said, let's hop into today's video. Dragloon with the clone spell. All right, guys, welcome back. We had Bada Bing Clan this week. We had a little bit of an advantage in this one. I want to say we had a one Town Hall 11, two Town Hall 10 advantage, but we were able to take care of business. 113, 103. On the strength of the exact strategy we're going to talk about in today's video, we're talking about the Drag Loon clone. Without further ado, I want to get straight into the action today. Let's go to the map here and we'll start off on number eight we had eve check here a uh, new member to whf formerly of the dark looters eve check is going to demonstrate one of the most uh dominant strategies out there now let's stop the video really quickly and point out what's dangerous to the dragons now first and foremost obviously are the air defenses. Now, this base has all of the air defenses clumped up together, so this is where you're gonna see a very heavy dragon kill squad go at that, but all you need is a moment of distraction. You're gonna see that with a lava loon in the clan castle. That is going to uh, provide some tanking for those dragons and balloons, and uh, ultimately, they're gonna take out those air defenses. Now, other things can hurt the dragons as well, but if you're able to take out all of the air defenses at the beginning, it's not looking good for your base, guys. So here it is, queen on the top. The point of the heroes here is to funnel. Now, taking out these corner buildings, that's going to force the dragons to the core of the base. He wants to get those right to those air defenses as quickly as possible. So you see the queen, check that out. There's a rage spell. Balloons come in behind the dragons. You want them kind of right on top of the drags, though. You can even afford to have them get shot a little bit. There is the early Grand Warden ability just trying to get them through the most risky spot in the base with minimal losses now all of the air defenses down at this point check this out clone spell on the dragons down here these were a little bit thin so he's able to drop those uh in there just like so and he actually follows that up with a rage so misplaced uh hay spell down there really doesn't get any value uh, but even though uh, the dragons really were aggressive on that left side, you can see them pushing all the way up, just absolutely destroying the base. Uh, did a great job rescuing the attack by filling it out with the clone spell, hitting those dragons uh, in the bottom right side. Now, guys, clone spell on the dragons now at a max level will give you two dragons. So 40 camp space will be cloned. That is crazy. That also means eight balloons can come from one clone spell as opposed to before. Now, one thing that you don't have to worry about with regards to a drag strategy is the multi-target infernos. Notice this dragon here lands on this inferno tower and it's shooting him the entire time, guys. Inferno tower down. Notice that dragon's health really didn't move all that much at all. Uh, that being said, he's got four or five dragons left over. It looks like five drags, uh, and he is just burning down this base. He's got two more buildings to, to get through here, and neither one of them can put out enough damage to take out all of these dragons. So that is it for this base. Eve check takes it out for the three. This is a really, really, really solid strategy. Tommy Slav Senjak, thank you uh, for the sub to the channel, man. You will be today's sub of the day. We might shout out one more at the end of the episode. Guys, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. If you catch me live doing the video, your name will appear on the top left portion of the screen. That being said, let's get to the next attack. We'll start with number 13 here. This is Mr. A. Lek. Dropped the six-pack today using this exact strategy. Now, in Eve Check's strategy, you saw... 10 dragons with the lava hound in the clan castle and he was able to use an early ability get through that area um, of concern what about an area uh like this where all of these air defenses are definitely not uh all together they are all the way in the corners on each of these what do you do then now there's a couple things that you can do i'm going to show you one of these guys as the last uh ep last raid of this episode it's going to be me and that is going to be a more surgical approach to this base there's also this style where it's still more of a spam style approach uh, but what you do is you really take advantage of the fact that there is no air defense anywhere uh covering the core of this base you can see once those are down this is the closest that the uh, air defense can engage those dragons and balloons. So what he does is clear out the pathing on the right with the king. 
uses ability with the queen takes out the air defense and gets some more air targeting stuff as well with that queen so really really good value there queen locks onto the cannon here he's going to try to take that down as well now that works great for the funneling you can see here he drops instead of uh you know instead of 10 dragons he's got a few less dragons uh, or two less dragons rather I, no I think he dropped nine this one but he's gonna have a whole ton of balloons and look at the destruction that these balloons offer as they cruise through the base more rage spells are down and you can see the balloons just doing the work they're actually out in front and it doesn't really matter that they're going down they get the dragons all the way to the back side here there is a late clone spell and what you want to do is have the clone spell out in front you want to get your lead dragon with that when you've got backside air defenses here guys the reason for that uh -oh, we got a we got a phone call here doing a video honey I'll call you right back so uh, basically I actually answered the phone right there to let her know but anyways what you want to do is make sure that you get the lead dragon with the clone spell and I'll show you guys that in future raids as well what you want to do is have the air defense shooting a troop that is going to die anyway so Lek does a great job here getting that done ends the raid with a bunch of dragons left over and that was with two uh rather three air defenses not taken care of as part of that uh that raid so Lek again on number 14 here we're gonna look at dragons in this one notice the army composition guys he's got nine dragons 12 balloons and he's gonna have a lot of loon in the clan castle and again he is going to be going at this base from the angle that well all of the air targeting stuff with the exception of air defenses are on the same side of the base you can see all of the archer towers over here um, that is a lot of value and you can see that the queen on the backside standing right here is going to lure them kind of into the middle so they don't stray too far so he's gonna use that to his advantage so first and foremost he starts off with the easy funneling that is going to be the king and queen on the corners here. They start off on the corners. Uh, king doing some distraction here. Look at all that uh, that damage he's, he's taking right now. He's got archer towers, expos, all of that good stuff. Nothing shooting the drags right now. So here comes a delayed hound going into the first air defense. And look at that army of air troops. Holy crap, that's intimidating. So rage spells across the top left. Here comes the balloons, and they are just going to start working their way right through this base. No problem at all. Remember what I said about the queen? She starts luring in those dragons. There they are, and look at that. Over out front, he drops in uh, the clone spell and gets those dragons. And wouldn't you know it, the air defense is being tanked by the clone dragons. This is very subtle, guys. You can often get away without doing it like that. But the reason you want the clone spell out in front so your dragons spawn in front of your army is because those dragons are actually destined to disappear after 30 seconds or so anyways. So what you want is up here, when these guys start to disappear, um, you want them to be the ones that if they die off, uh, you know, you still have your real dragons down here to clean up because those guys died off, right? So if they get shot out of the sky, it's not as big of a deal. You at least got some value out of them in the meantime. So Lek doing a great job clearing this base. That is absolutely crushed. Nice work, dude. Uh, taking out another base, getting a, a six pack this war. Um, okay, next up we have number 18. This is Mr. October. And again, guys, uh, I hear you on the drags loud and clear. I was surprised at the amount of feedback. Like, we want to see dragon content at Town Hall 10 and 11. Uh, the next video that I'm going to be putting together, I'm hoping on dragons, is going to be 10 versus 10 um, and show you guys how that differs from this strategy. It doesn't too much uh, with the exception of more queen charging, less cloning. So we'll see what happens here again on the corners with the heroes. Funneling is the name of the game. The queen actually takes out the air defense. And look at this, balloons go in, we've got two more air defenses left, and you're going to see the clone spell right there in the middle. Look at all of those balloons, guys. That is an absolute ton of balloons that got cloned, and they are going to go ahead, take out the uh, air defenses, the infernos, and push their way through. Um, incredible push there from Mr. October. This thing was absolutely smashed. The only thing left now is on the back side we've got teslas and one archer tower in the middle one of the teslas got taken down by the balloons there are so many balloons up on the field that uh literally the dragons didn't have much to do guys dragons are more clean up here while the balloons getting things done mr october doing work now that is what happens when you clone the balloons 
It all kind of depends on pathing and where the key objectives are in the base, what you want to clone. Now, balloons are very viable to clone, uh, but the dragons also are as well. It just depends on how you're approaching the base and how many of each troop you have. We're going to watch one more raid. Uh, this last one is my own. I'm going to be demonstrating this very strategy. And in this one, there's going to be the opportunity to pick up three air defenses before we ever go in with the drag loon. So you're going to notice fewer dragons here because I have less to tank. Only eight dragons. You're going to see six wizards and a bowler um, as part of this army composition. Now in this one, you see the air defense is kind of close to the edge out here. And what you're going to see is we're going to get this air defense taken care of uh, with some balloons and a haste. We're going to get this uh, air defense down here taken care of with the queen. And in addition to that, some funneling done with that queen so the dragons stay on the inside of the base. Over here, we're going to see a bowler skiff as well as the king doing some tanking and then wizards to take that out. So let's go ahead and watch that. That's kind of the plan was to take away the air defenses right off the bat. And so Bowler Skip is going on right now to take out those couple of buildings. You're going to see some wizards on the funnels over there. Uh, we'll zoom out so we can see both sides of what is going on. Now, we've got the army camp taken down on the bottom left. The queen is working on the town hall. Got to secure that two-star, right? And then the queen is going to walk up the wall to take out the air defense up on the left. That's just the way the pathing is going to work. And then down here, we have a king exchange, putting him in front of the bowler, in front of the wizard. And then you're going to see a couple of more wizards come down behind this bowler. Their job is going to be taking out that air defense just like so. Now, the queen's in trouble over here. She pops that ability, takes out a third air defense, guys. Um, or the second air defense. The third one's going to be coming in just a moment. Very nice work. And in this one, we also do have a uh, we do have a lava hound in the CC, but we're actually going to target directly the last air defense up on this top side. So you're going to see that all four air defenses are dealt with, and the drags and the loons are just going to be kind of loons are not so much spammy in this attack. They're going to be more snipey. Um, but so you see here. We've got a haste belt down. I actually misplaced that haste a little bit. The the center of that haste belt should have been right in front of the uh, the air defense there. Uh, but instead, we don't get the archer tower. It's okay, though. We drop in a couple of uh, sets of loons there to take out the mortar and the tesla to pop. And then it's all about the dragons and the grand warden right now. We want to quickly get to the core here, lock on to the queen. We want to take out all of these little uh, buildings. Those loons are getting great value there, taking out all kinds of stuff. Still alive. I only dropped two or three. Um, so now that we have right there, we'll pause it. We cloned the front dragon once again, guys. Notice what popped up is the uh, the clone dragons. And look at how they're attracting the fire of all of the expos. Uh, my main group of dragons have literally nothing going on. From the top right, we send in a Lava Hound direct to the air defense, and then the balloon that goes with it, we just rage it up, and it takes out that whole quadrant by itself. Backside balloons go in and take out pretty much all of the air targeting stuff that we need to worry about. We still have nine dragons in the sky right now, guys, and only one air targeting defense left over. A couple of those clone dragons do fall off. Uh, that is okay. Only a wizard tower left at this point. Completely smashes the, uh, the base here, this army. And this is a very, very, very reliable strategy. I dare say that this is probably the top Town Hall 11 versus 10 strategy. And it's using dragons, which you guys requested. So that is going to do it for this episode. Make sure you guys ask questions in the comments. Let me know what your favorite Town Hall uh, 11 versus 10 strategy is when you're dipping down to take out those Town Hall 10s. I don't want to overplay this and, uh, you know, say... Uh, that it's not important because it absolutely is. If you fail these attacks, there's a great chance you're losing your war, guys. So, that being said, uh, we do have another sub of the day. Keith Ketchum, thank you so much for the support of uh, the channel. Welcome to Banger Nation, dude. Appreciate that sub just a few minutes ago. All, uh, all that being said, guys, I'm out of here for today. Appreciate you guys liking the video. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe for some more Clash of Clans quality content. That's all I got. Peace out. I will see you guys soon. Catch you in the next episode.